remember this. Yeah, that's Kista. <laughs> and you said you're, you, you're, so you went there, you went to Addis Ababa, mm -hmm. you were out with your friend, yeah. and these two guys picked you up in a taxi, or how did they oh, find no, you? Just, we're walking around. Oh, you were just walking I mean, around? It was a long time ago. Yeah, I yeah. was probably in my 30s or 40s. Well, they took us to this place where the women were dancing. They were all in white, mm -hmm. and it was all shoulders. Yes. I remember that. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're actually really good. You but, got it. Yeah. 40 years later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I mean, I've had a restaurant for 50 years, okay. and you know, the, the 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 clientele pushes you around. You know, they make mm. sure that you're that you're up to snuff. Mm. And uh, you I'm, have good clientele in Santa Cruz. Yeah, and I had a restaurant here for 50 years. What, so what was the restaurant name? Called India Joe's. India Joe's. So I, st- I started serving Ethiopian food in 1972, among other, among other cuisines. The interesting about food is that food is really just, you know, people, a lot of times people putting their own spin to how they connect with it. So your yeah. influence, your background uh, to, a, to a cuisine that comes from a different country is going to uh, be totally different than like my mom's cooking. Of course. Right? Of course. Right? Yeah, yeah. But it's all cuisine. Yeah. And well, and depending on what part of the country you live in, what the climate true. is and what the, you know, you're going to find shifts in, in the way, in the emphasis. That's true. You know, I use tefra and jarrah. A lot of people use wheat because it's a lot easier to work with. Yeah. But tef, tef has a wonderful flavor to it. Yeah. Well, how do you make it? What's your process? Well, we got a, you know, we've got a big riddle. Okay. And, uh, He's cutting the... It's okay. This one's not exactly right. Okay. Not exactly right. This is very difficult to do perfectly, as you know. And, you know, we get it half the time, shall we say. I like it, not quite so sour, but I know in Ethiopia it's it's got a real tang to it. Hi, Kalia. You doing just by the fermenta- fermentation? Just fermentation, yeah. Some people add vinegar. Some people add whey. Yeah. Um, uh, there's again, it's there's a rice. There's a rice recipe. Yeah. You know the white one. Yeah. Well, there's also a white egg. Yeah. Uh, this we have both kinds here. We have uh, white and this is brown, but we do have serving white uh, earlier. So uh, the, the flavor is slightly different. Wow. All right, so what dishes do we got today? All right, so we got golman. Yes. And that's salad. Uh, dal, uh, it's, we call it wad, it's because it's, it's, not, it's yeah. not spicy. Oh, it's not dal. Um, but uh, you need to salad. Yeah. And yada kleda. Oh, I got to get more of that out. Yata kut. Yata kut 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 kut. Yeah, I may be that pronouncing was, yeah, these right. things wrong. This is uh, what's left of the kut for. And uh, some awazi. How'd you make that awazi? Um, you know, beverage, a um, little bit of wine, a uh, little bit of honey. Mm. Um, it's, you know, sweet, sour, mm. Mm. good stuff. Um, Fool, which is, Ooh, yeah. I know that is an yeah. Egyptian dish, but yeah. it's, you know. Right um, it's my favorite. It's favorite today, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, wait, do you mind if I ask you a question? Oh. <laughs> wait, sure. what, do you, what, what have you enjoyed so far today? Everything, yeah? except the meat. I'm a vegetarian. You're a vegetarian? <laughs> what about but the... This is my favorite. What and, about it do you love? Uh, grand, I just I love fava beans. They're my favorite thing on the planet. Is it sweet, more on the savory side? No, no, they're just like vegetables. Mm. And then the lentils mm-hmm. and the... This was absolutely lovely. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to see him again because yeah. I haven't seen him for many years. Yeah. He used to be a fan. Really well known in the community? Oh, yes. Oh. Very popular. <laughs> I'm learning now. I'm new to the community. You so. are? Yes. Well, welcome. Thank you. So, you see, uh, in general, you know, they've sort of shattered it. It's going to make great fit fit. Let me, let me try the injera. Uh, this, this is gluten free. I know. Yeah. I hate that. But the cookies like injera to me. Are. Okay. Like, those are good. And uh, shiro, which is over. Oh, yeah. This is a uh, flax. I don't know the name of this. It's made out of flax. It's butter. Um, it, it's a fasting dish, you know. Um, yeah. Um, and it's, they use it like butter. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The injera is not very sour. Yeah. I mean, it's it's what it is. But it, again, America, Americans are Americans are different. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> so this is like your equivalent to a um, making it a shakla. You know, the uh, shakla is the brown clay, like a dark uh, black yeah, yeah. clay uh, liquid. This is how we like to eat our shura. But, you know, again, these are American. It's it's a little teeny bit sweet, not much. Oh, I had it. It's good. He's been yeah. coming back and back. Like okay. Yeah, they, he said like brown. What do you like about the soup? Cheers. Thank you. What do you like about the soup? What do I like about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's unlike anything I've ever uh, had before. Yeah? It's kind of... 
I don't want to call it gritty, but it's got some it's got some substance to it and uh, uh, a flavor like I've never I've never experienced. And saffron is I've never had saffron in this form oh, before. Safflower. Safflower. It's it's, oh, the safflower sometimes is used to pretend that it's saffron, but it's and it looks really? similar, but it's not. This is safflower. And, and it's a it's a different plant. Completely. It's a different plant. Oh, before we tell you the rest, what do you think is in what do you think is in the drink? What are the rest of the ingredients? I don't know. Milk. Take, take a guess. Okay. No milk. No milk. Uh, is it uh, soy? No soy. What? Okay. No, it's just safflower seeds. That's all it is. Yeah, a little water and a little teeny bit of honey, but not much. Teeny bit of honey. So, I liked it. That's amazing. <laughs> it's very healthy for you. Yeah. Oh, is it? It yes. like sun, and sunflower seeds. Well, I'm, I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I was introduced. You're to not just sure. drinking; you're drinking healthily and responsibly. <laughs> Drink responsibly, yes. Drink your uh, safflower responsibly. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Chai means masala chai. Chai just means tea. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But um, it comes from my backyard. concentrated milk. Concentrated milk and tea. I, I don't. Have, there's no caffeine in it until you until you add it. Because some people in Santa Cruz don't want. This is you know then honey and fresh ginger and a lot of spices. Cardamom, cloves, ginger, nutmeg. I make you make tea, just regular black tea, although it's a special good black tea, and then you uh, add milk and this this stuff. And this way, in America, some people don't want dairy, and some people don't want caffeine, and some people don't. You know. So what, it has no dairy. What this has dairy in it, but it, you know some people want oat milk instead. Yeah. Uh, Don, can you go grab me some tea glasses, please? Milk tea, lots of spices, okay. Oh. Cardamom, you said... Uh, Cardamom, cinnamon, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg. Sourced from where? Ginger. Pardon? Sourced from where? Uh, well, car the cardamom's from... Um, actually, most of that's Latin American now. Uh, the cinnamon's from Sri Lanka. That's a special kind of cinnamon. Um, the cloves are from uh, um, India. The nutmeg's from uh, Indonesia. So it's... Do you know the name of the cinnamon? Is it Ceylon? Or, or Ceylon or Sri, Sri Lankan. Yeah, I mean, Ceylon cinnamon is what the, the best one. Yeah, no, it's very. We'll give it very a try. Okay, wow. I think you'll hot. like it. Okay, guys, let's I do hope this. you like it. It's hot. Ooh, wow. This smells like the tea I drink at home. Okay. Already, that's my first good sign. So, uh, if you can get the, the rack of chai glasses over here. That cardamom is really coming through. Oh. It's layered. No, no, it's, a, it's, it's special. It's good. I mean, you know, I mean, I've been making chai for 50 years, and this is where I am right now. I mean, there's many variations. But... First, that comes well, out. Bring to me, them over here. Okay, I think I think the first flavor that comes out to me actually is the cloves. Then I get the cardamom. Is there ginger? Fresh ginger. Yeah, I, the ginger comes out at the end. Yeah. So it's you know, I mean, I love that kind of flavor. Mm. Go different places. Wow. Um, well, Don, if you, I'll take some, any kind of pots. Uh, why don't you give me just chai cups then? All right. Wow. It doesn't seem like he is getting them. Let's like say, let's stall. say, let's say. That is fantastic. I haven't seen you taste it though. Oh yeah, no, I was tasting it with a spoon. So, but uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, again, you can make it stronger, weaker, whatever. Yeah, no, that's but that's. You, know, that's really... <laughs> you were born in Santa Cruz? No, no, I came up here to go to school. And, you, went, you went to UC Santa Cruz? Yeah, I went to UC Santa Cruz. What do you study? Uh, theater arts and English literature. So I did a lot of cooking. Hi there.
<laughs> Kaden grew up in Santa Cruz and lived many years in Ethiopia. Twelve years, is it, Kaden? Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Longer than I've done most things. So uh, please uh, welcome her. She's a very great classical violinist, but also has brought Ethiopian music into her realm, and I can't wait to hear it. Keita. Hello, everybody. Happy Avant Garden Party. Um, I am just so thrilled to be here. This event is something I've been coming to since I was a wee thing. And um, I just have to say off the bat, I, I really credit um, the community that um, convened yearly at this garden party to give me the inspiration to do the things I've been able to do in my life. And so it's a really beautiful full circle moment for me to bring this project to the familiar faces and the new faces. Um, so yeah, special, special day today. The Ethiopian theme um, extends, as you guys, I'm not, uh, as you guys know, with the food from India Joe's, and we've been on the phone for the last couple days, talking about the different dishes that would be possible, and um, so I hope you've been enjoying the delectable treats. Thank you, India Joe's. Thank you, Sasha, and the whole team, Grant, and then Henry, and everybody. Um, food and music, as we know, are intertwined, and that's something I think was really linked for me when I was a kid coming to Garden Party as well. All right, so um, since those early days of Avant Garden Party, I lived in Ethiopia for uh, 11 years, starting in 2009, and I came back to Santa Cruz when COVID started. Um, and that's when I really started developing this next body of work, which is reflections of my time living in Ethiopia. Most of that music was developed here in this town. Um, and uh, while things sort of impressions were percolating in and I was far away from where I had been living. Um, so I'll be sort of sharing with you some images and some little bit of background for each song. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just grateful for this audience because it's not every show that I get to describe the context of where these pieces were born. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to do my first song. Um, it's called Zelasenya. Zelasenya is a Coptic Christian melody um, that I learned from a singer that I collaborate with. Her name is Salam Nishzemana, and she's a very devout singer, uh, you know, Christian. And um, we collaborate a lot together as a duo. And this is one of the pieces we do together. Um, the experience of walking into a Coptic Christian church in the very, very busy metropolis of Addis Ababa with livestock all over the place and, you know, uh, cars going every which way and, um, uh, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty busy on the street, but there are churches there and you can walk in there and it's just dark, there's no electricity made out of um, mud, and you can see usually just this flash of light coming in from the top. 
and it's a perfect little sanctuary. And uh, that's what this song describes. And it's also a dedication to this place, this beautiful place. So. Yeah, that's Kista. And you said you're, you, you're, so you went there, you went to Addis Ababa, mm -hmm. you were out with your friend, yes. and these two guys picked you up in a taxi, or how did they oh, find no, you? Just, we're walking around. Oh, you were just walking I mean, around? It was a long time ago. Yeah, I yeah. was probably in my 30s or 40s. 40 years ago, like right? 40. 40 years 40. ago. Wow. <laughs> so that was like in the 80s. Well, they took us to this place where the women were dancing they were all in white mm. and it was all shoulders i yes. remember that yes I don't okay <laughs> hey you're good <laughs> wow you're actually really good you but, got it 40 years later yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still got it um wow. we're watching dancing then yes. but when the trip was about being in the Oma river valley yeah and yeah. seeing the different um groups I guess tribal groups. So you went on a there. tour specifically for the Omo River Valley? Yes. 
and then on our own. That was finished, and then we went to Addis. Yes. And um, I just really remember that being picked up by these guys. What was, you know, what was your favorite memory like in the Omo River? Oh, I love that. I yeah. love the different hairdos yeah. and um, being with the kids and the people. And one, one of the things I learned in my travels was to bring along certain things, which were bubbles, you know, bubbles in the thing, and yeah, you blow yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do remember when um, I got there, and I took that out and blew it, and the adults ran, ran away, oh, yeah. and the kids came right in. <laughs> and then, before you know it, I mean, the adults wanted to hold on. It's like, no, yeah. you can blow it, but yeah. I'm holding it. So yeah. it was really wonderful. Wow. I really loved it. And, Did you um, see me, like, when you say, I'm thinking of maybe you saw the people, uh, the hammer people, they have, yes, like, clay clay uh, in their hair, clay on their skin. Yeah, and they had put white, I don't know, tomorrow, yes. one, one of the people yes, yes. that we saw. But it was, the body paintings. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. Did you see the scarring that they also do? The what? The scarring? Yes. How they how they yep. scar yep. As, a, as a body art? Yep. Wow. Yeah. No, so you got to was, see the southern part of Ethiopia. Yes. That's very cool. Yeah. Very. And is Dar es Sen Dar 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 Dawa. Dredwa, yes, we say it, we. I know it's How written as it? Dredawa, yeah. but when we say it all together, it's like Dredwa. Dredwa, okay. Ooh, you, you still got it. Are you married to Ethiopian? Yeah. 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 Yeah.